all right hello welcome to my channel and in this video i'll be showing you how to uh, export your sharepoint list as a csv file then send it a file as an email attachment all right so let us jump straight into the video all right so for this flow you're going to use the scheduled cloud flow then i'll name this flow as v2 export to csv then you want to start today's date then at uh, it can be at any it can start at any time in the future uh, then select the time the starting time at uh, let's say three then you go to repeat after every two minutes then let us create it that that this is very very fast so if you have been away from power automate for a while this is for a while this is the the new designer uh the new designer uh canvas or <laughs> what's what they call it for creating or let's say canvas for creating a um power to meet now it was it like the old ui which was kind of sometimes hectic in creating but this is very very cool shout out to uh the microsoft for updating power to me this is very very cool the interface is very very cool now let us go ahead and create our flow right so for this one i'm going to search since you are exporting it from uh, exporting the file or uh, uh, exporting the, the uh, you are exporting the sharepoint list to csv then you have to you have to use the sharepoint connector so let us search for sharepoint so in sharepoint you come here and select um get items and get items we select the sharepoint site where our list is found and you're going to query all the the list in that sharepoint uh, site you want to select show all you want to limit the columns to all the items in the list then the folder to this so you click on the folder then you select the for the, the list will so limit it to only the student query list or whatever list at is in your SharePoint site or SharePoint, yeah, SharePoint site. So after doing this, go to click on uh, select the add new step so to select an action. For this one, you're going to select the operation data operation operation. In the data operation, uh, this is uh, click or select uh, see more. Then select create CSV table. In creating CSV table, what the output from the get items. So click on this this um lightning icon. Then you're going to click on the action. And then they click on it to get the dynamic data. This is the body value body slash value so as i get in it click on add an action again i'm going to create um no 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 i think i did it wrong so this one wants to delete this and get and get this action instead call select select so this is the from this the same data operation select this will be before the create CSV table. So complete this thing with this. Then uh, first, the first column will be timestamp. I'll name it timestamp. Then I'll bring it here. Then the full name, full name, and the full name, and the email address, then the email. email. Sorry, email the year. Email. Then we have the so we have the subjects. And then click on the subjects, search for subjects. And again, the um, message since it's a body. 
body slash message. Uh, so let's this instead. So message. So this is the body of the message. Right. So after doing this, click out of it. Then we, then we select the output from the select. So after doing this, let us now just create the the like to create the file when we do this. Uh, from so after creating the CSV file, right? So after it to create the table, they have to create the file. And where are we creating the files? So we we'll creating it in OneDrive. So let me set for OneDrive. That's OneDrive for business. So in OneDrive for business, we are going to create the create the file, and in the file we're going to select the folder part where our uh, our uh, uh, file will be will, will be stored then we come here and let's select this give it a name our name is uh, students students list dot csv then the, the we add the i the, the the file content as the csv table and we're going to create a file out of that uh, once we are done we can't before we save before we save, let us let me change the time. So we do it again and save. So let us wait to finish saving. So after saving, let us quickly test the flow to see whether it has created uh, to see whether uh, it can create the file as we as we expect. After, so let's, let me check one drive. So we have, we have to see something here by now. Um, yeah, so there's a student list of CSV. So this is the this is the so this is the this is the uh, the CSV file. So let us head back to Power Automate again. Power Automate again and let us gets the file now after doing it let us get the file so get go to one drive again so for that because that's where the file is stored that's the that's the storage so that's the, that's where we are storing the file so let us get to the file content that specific file content we want to add as an email attachment then we come to um where it is stored that that directory so here is it so this is a student list of csv uh, so after doing that we come here and we add this as uh, right so we come here and say it says for one no out two So in Outlook, we are going to click on see more. Then we uh, uh, select the send email version two. We to add this. And then you see the, the students list file. Then you say hi friends. Then you say where is the file. Right. Uh, then we just click on show more. In the show more, we're going to add an attachment. So it's going to be students list students list dot csv. They want to add the content to it. So this is the content, right? So we are done. So this is the flow. So this is the flow. So let us let me change the let, let me go through this first. So we will so we, will, we, we this this is a scheduled cloud flow, so it runs at a specific time, a number of times, like it depends on how you do that. We're going to get the item from SharePoint. So from the SharePoint, select your SharePoint sites, your name, the share the list name, then you're going to limit it to all items. 
then then to the limiting folder then to this folder want to select it so enter the body then you pop they populate a map right for the with the con with the, uh, with the columns you want to you want to uh, create the file from and you want to create a, the file from then we come here to then we create the CLD table that's the output of the map here then you create the file in one drive so you select one drive for business then select where you want to store the file and they give it the file name so the file name will be the student list but the file extension you want to save the file in they give it the output then we come here to get now we want to send the, the files and email attachment so we select we get the file from one the game right after getting the file we send it as an email attachment so let me come to you know Parents, let me change it to probably 11 to 16. We save. Test. So let me rerun it. So, so your flow runs successfully. So right. So now you can see here is the email. So this is the email. So this is the file, the student the student list of CSV. Let me uh, edit edit in, in the browser. So yes, yeah, so I have, I've sent the file, so you can see it over here. So this is the file. Thank you very much. I am Prince Adimado. Um, I am Prince Adimado. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you if you uh, find this video helpful, kindly subscribe to the channel and let us grow together in learning power automate and the power platform as a whole. Um, if you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a like and, and add your comment and share. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.